Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So me and lovely Nock, who is over there, are gonna be doing a review for All You Can Eat Is Love, which is quite a new vegan restaurant. And from what I'm aware of, it used to actually just be a stall somewhere, specifically in Chiang Mai. And this restaurant is created by a tow local. And yeah, we're gonna do an honest review of this place. They are giving us the food for free to do a review in exchange for them on this YouTube channel, but I'll always do an honest review. So yeah, I'll give you a quick look around and then we'll show you the food and taste it in a short while. When you work in, you're gonna see this board. It's pretty cool, you've got your camera on it. And this, which I love, choose a job you love and you never have to work a day in your life. I completely agree with that. Because I can relate to that from doing YouTube. Doesn't feel like a job to me at all. It's just something I love to do. And I get paid to it. So here is some images of some of the food. You can pause if you wanna see them. So I'm gonna quickly go through them. Got some noisy vehicle going past at the same time. Nothing we can do about that. And all the names, so you see Sergeant Pepper Pasta is after stuff to do with the Beatles. Which is really, really cool. I like that. This is what it looks like inside. I think it looks quite nice. See it now, it looks good. A lot of the food is already there, We're waiting for some more. Aren't we to arrive? There's a camera tripod. We've got some cool things like this up here. And a few cool little crappy things to give the place a bit more character is one of the cooking areas yeah. and they also sell bamboo straws which is really good then they have a load of different drinks to make their own cold brews one's actually got coconut little water kefirs which is really cool and a variety of other different drinks so you've got a variety of different beverages to choose from so there's not all you can eat is love like i said the place and yeah 100% vegan 100% gluten free and what type of foods have they got in there so they got drinks and this the opening yeah these are the starters like try kind of chips all yeah. different things you can pause to see them and we'll go on to the next page you got a different psychedelic salads which is good for people especially who want to have more of a healthier salad and want less calories You've got things like castillas fish and chips mystery toast beer tea burgers pizza tacos sergeant pepper pasta First off we've got lady potato skins, which is potatoes with cheese, cheese sauce, sauce on. And meaty mushroom yeah. fill inside. Looks really good. I'm looking forward to that the most because I love potatoes. And what's this one? Do you know what this one this is? This is a pizza taco with homemade vegan mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese on top. Yeah. Looks really yeah. good. And the base is gluten free. Yeah. Charcoal everything. base. And mm. then you have charcoal mm -hmm. BLT sandwich as you can see here and then quesadillas which is a trio one's got vegan chicken in one's got guacamole one's got vegan cheese that one right there sergeant pepper pasta yeah it's really good what is actually in it do you know i don't know it's brown rice noodles with chili tempeh breast brazzle um, and vegan parmesan mm -hmm. and the last but not least is revolution this. burger um, with vegan bacon and the patty, I believe it's made from red bean, mushroom, and potato. Yeah. yeah, and isn't it what? Yeah, it says something else about that as well. Um, it's got cashew cheese in it, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickled radish, shiitake mushroom, spices, a whole variety of different things. So, yeah, now for the taste test. This one. What's that thing that you're eating? Mm. That thing in the middle? This is the pickle. Mm. Oh my god. Oh wow. That's so good. The potatoes are cooked enough to actually be crispy on the outside. So it's like an actual mm. baked potato. Mm. Mm. It tastes like crisps. You get crisps from the package. It doesn't taste like that to me. It just tastes like laid loaded potato skins I've had before in England. But 
Yeah, cheese sauce is good for meat in it. Mm. Wow, I've only got three of those. I could eat probably like 20 of those. Mm. Or 20 plates or 20 individual skin. Mm. Anything else you want to say on that? It's really good. Everything is flavorful. Mm. Perfect. Not too oily at all. Mm, no. Perfectly cooked. No oil. I like the pickle that comes on the side as well, like sauerkraut. And Okay. Um, next, we're gonna go on to the pizza. And yeah, aesthetically, I think all the food looks beautiful. Really, really, really appealing. Mm. Noisy scooter there, sorry about that, I can't avoid that. Mmm. Mm. Wow, really strong tomato base. Wow, the cheese in it, I really like the cheese. Yeah. Mm. What do you have to say about it? It's really good. <laughs> the cheese? I say it's like, she's pretty cheesy to me. More than the other ones that I have on pizza. Mm. It'd be nice if it's stringy, you know, but the taste is good. And the, the base mm. is crunchy like a taco, as it mm. should be. I think their, their tomato sauce have some kind of like spice in it, in it as well, which I really like, mm. personally. Mm. It's actually some of the best vegan cheese I've had. Yeah. Cheese, it's not sure. stringy, but the it taste, tastes yeah. like a non-vegan cheese. Yeah, they're cheesy. A lot of cheeses we've tried at places, they're not stringy and they also right. don't taste the yeah. cheese. <laughs> yeah, and I like that everything here is gluten-free, so it's really light. Mm. Yeah. So now we're going to eat this one. Yeah, the, the quesadillas. Yeah. yeah, it's so colorful, I like it. You try one and I'll try a different mm -hmm. one. Oh, I'll show you inside. I'm Drop gonna try the, the tomato there. cheese one. Got like a proper block of cheese in there. <laughs> like slice of cheese in there. It looks so good. And yeah, that meaty-ish one definitely mm. looks very, very meaty. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This one definitely reminds me of like shredded chicken. If if it was a non-vegan shredded chicken, Castellia. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. This is so good too. Wow. What did you have to say about the first one you have? I like it. For some reason I feel like there's butter in it, but I, for sure it doesn't. I like the texture of the cheese. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I like the cheese as well. Yeah, I like the cheese. It's like a mild sort of cheddary cheese, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, my cheddary. And then um, I normally eat avocado. But I will today. Mmm, well, ripe avocado mm. for sure, which is good. Not places underripe avocado. Mm. Got some good seasoning in there. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Now, next, I'm going to try the burger for sure. Should I put any of the sauce in there? Yeah. Um, well, there's, they have two sauce. So there's some barbecue sauce, and I think this one is cashew. <laughs> just go for both of them. Let's see what happens now because this is going to go everywhere for sure. Dirty. Uh, I've also seen some people we know. That's why she's waiting. <laughs> talk to him a bit. Oh. Mm. The burgers are like really, really, really good. I like the crunchiness of the rice paper bacon. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> you cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I really like the burger as a whole. The actual patty tastes very meaty which is very appealing to non-vegans. The mm -hmm. bun is a really good gluten-free bun. Do you know what the bun is actually made from? I think it's rice flour and some flaxseed. Yeah, yeah, it's a really soft one. Like I find a lot of gluten-free buns can be really chewy and hard. You want to try that? It's going to be really hard to try that because it's going to go everywhere, but yeah. I'm in an absolute mess with it. Mm, I already tried the patty itself. It tastes pretty meaty for me as yeah, well. And the sauce like tastes itself. really, really good for sure. <laughs> The bacon is really fancy. Yeah, it's very different to any other vegan bacon that I've had. Very interesting. I like it. Oh, and yeah, the bird comes with some nachos, so try them. But yeah, the barbecue sauce tastes really good to me. Do you taste the barbecue sauce? Yeah, I like it. I like the spice that it's a bit like. It's really flavorful. Mm. It's really good when it's in the burger. Wow, these tacos are different to other tacos I've had. They're quite salty, which I actually like quite mm -hmm. salty tacos. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 It tastes healthier than standard crappy tacos. Yeah, for sure. Cheap, homemade it. Mm. Three different ones. Wow. Have you tried them? Yeah. Wow. Oh, they're really different. Try this one, mate. I'm not normally a pasta lover, so 
Yeah. Even I like it, this is I'm not eating pasta. I love pasta. Mm. She's gonna love that pasta because I've just tasted it, it's cooked in a way that she likes. Some tempeh in there as well. Mm. She was the one that actually wanted it's not me. So for me, it's not for me, but it's just because I'm not into pasta. So she can eat that dish. Yeah, I love it. So out of 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst, what would you <laughs> review at least the food? Nine out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's pretty I love good. it. Yeah, I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is like perfect, pretty perfect, much. Yeah. There's nothing that I would thought about it. There's nothing yeah. that I dislike about it. Like I said, not just yeah. pasta, but that's just me yeah. and pasta. Yeah, for me, it's not like massive downfall about it. The food is very colorful. I like the presentation yeah. and the taste is what I like. Yeah. It's not too oily. It's not too heavy. Yeah, it's not too junky. It looks like it's junky, but it doesn't taste like really unhealthy no, junk foods. Yeah. The prices are really good as well. And not made me aware, we forgot to actually try one of the dishes. And yeah, I would definitely come back here again and eat time and time again because the food is really, really, really good. The staff's really nice, I really like the location. Yeah, win-win all round. Quite spongy, the bread. Yeah, the bread is really, really soft. So if you gluten free bread again, it's really good. Um, I think it just tastes really, really good. It doesn't have like a strong bacon taste, but I really, really like it. Good sandwich. Mm. Yeah, everything together goes really well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's what, and it's way healthier than the junk food we ate yesterday. Like way, way cleaner. And it's gluten free, which is good. So I do is put links down below for the Facebook, the Happy Cow, and the Instagram. So if you're interested in them, and you're in Chiang Mai, I highly recommend you check them out. Because yeah, it's a really, really good experience. And um, like I said, I always do an honest review. If something doesn't taste good, I would give one of these feedback because it's yeah. good feedback for them. And then they can make certain changes if they want to take on my constructive feedback. <laughs> I love the friends all the same that we did not. And what is it that you've got? Okay, this is the Magical Mystery Toast Tour. Here you have toast topped with vegan salmon. She turned a tomato into a salmon. Blow your dome. Here is pulled pork with coleslaw. And here's her amazing um, goji berry hummus with fresh sliced cucumbers. <laughs> they look really, yeah. really, really appealing. Visually. The colors, the flavors. Um, out of 10 being, 10 being the best in taste, one being the worst, what would you rate this dish out of 10? Ooh. 10. Yeah, 10. 10. We get this every time. We it's love it. Thumbs up from there. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We're going to finish the rest of this. I hope you enjoyed this restaurant review video. Try and do cuts to get rid of a lot of noise because noise keeps popping up. But I do the best that we can do. Any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to share this with us. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And you click the bell notification button. Next subscribe button if you want to be notified of when the video is uploaded. I have so many coming on a weekly basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those games. <laughs> Peace. Okay.